that tastes like shit. Hey guys, now I'm a bit, a bit wee here. I know I said I was gonna do the Supernatural reviews, and I am, except I really wanted to do something after watching Apocalypse. I really wanted to go through all the old X-Men films because it's a series that has gone all the way back to the early 2000s. And I remember watching the first two movies in theaters and being like, whoa! And then I remember watching the third one and like, yeah! So this is a series that in effect, I have actually seen every single movie in theaters, every single film, and I'm amazed to think that, that's how many films, uh, that's what, one, two, three, Wolverine, Wolverine, First Class, and Apocalypse, and Days of Futures Past, that's eight films in a, of a series, and my god, the timeline is super screwed up, but at least it's still not as bad as X-Men Wolverine Origins. Now this is the one I'm gonna start with because I'm kinda gonna go in uh, chronological order and my god, I remember watching this movie and reviewing it. I thought it was shit then, but I still thought it was enjoyable. I just watched it now for the first time in seven years and it's still garbage. It is still an absolute terrible film and however the still one really shining moment of that movie is Liev Schreiber. Liev Schreiber was against so much fan backlash when he was cast as Sabretooth or as Logan's brother as this film apparently devises and he really showed them up. Not only did he get in shape he went like he basically tried to go toe to toe with Hugh Jackman through the training process he was the best part of that movie. He was villainous, he was awesome, he was brutal, but he was probably one of the most interesting characters in the entire film, despite the fact that he's literally just a gun for hire and he doesn't have that much development. He's still probably one of the coolest characters in the film because Hugh Jackman's okay, but oh my god, the amount of yelling the guy does. Half the script is him going, Arr! Speaking of the script, this was written by that same asshole that ruined Die Hard. A good, okay, a good day to Die Hard was doomed from the start when John Moore was selected as director. But Skip Woods is a guy you hire to fuck up your movies, and he's awful, and he ruined this movie. I now understand why people were so pissed with the whole Deadpool part because they ruined that aspect. But not only is that awful, the CG still is terrible, even on Blu-ray. Holy God, I can't believe those knives got allowed. There's certain sequences where he's fighting Gambit and he's like, ching, 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 and the stuff is exploding like Mario blocks. That's still awful. There are so many elements of this film that I don't understand why it went through the process. The entire timeline is super screwed up. It's even screw it even screws up the future timeline because in this film Stryker says that he had to kill his son to make the first part of the Deadpool process except his son is in the second movie so oh, I this film is so utterly bad the dialogue is cheesy that romance with whatever her name is is awful there's a few jokes here and there like the one where he said your country needs you he's like, i'm canadian that was great and the opening is still pretty darn good i still think that's a great way to intro the movie however when you think about how this film starts in vietnam really the story starts in vietnam and days of futures past is also in vietnam when the vietnam war is over so wait a minute how did Wolverine come back from then? And then, see, Days of Futures Past is a completely erased Wolverine Origins, except not entirely. It had to start after. So, but either way, the whole timeline is so screwed up. This film was just awful to watch. It's absolutely cheesy. The CGI is awful. Danny Houston, who I actually thought at first when I first saw it was a good interpretation of Stryker. He's uh, in certain scenes, but other scenes he's awful. And there's, I ha blame that on the dialogue. There's a bunch of other mutants that are in this movie. Dominic Mahanigan's in it for like six minutes. Will I am? I have no idea why he's in it. There's one person who gave this movie props for introducing 
more mutants and actually giving them screen time. Unlike the second one, which actually just had a lot of cameo parts, really the main crew was the X-Men team and all the kids and whatnot, they were all just like dips in the pocket. You know what? That's still better than this piece of shit. I really hope that guy changes his mind because I remember having a very fierce argument with him on roosterteeth.com. Either way, Wolverine Origins gets a 2 out of 7. Despite the fact that I hate it, I really, really want to give Lee Schreiber props. I think he did a great job. He's the best part of this movie. There are some jokes that are okay. The opening sequence is really good. And it's... It's still awful, but it's it has it's gone down a point since I watched it seven years ago. But either way, the worst one is out of the bag. So now we've got the next ones. And I'm gonna try and like I said, go in chronological order. So technically the next one is first class, then it will be Days of Future Past, sort of, I guess, and then it'll be one, two, three. And then Wolverine, that one's going to be hard because as much as I like to try and like that movie, there's so many flaws with it. Either way, guys, this is the first one in the list of all the movies, so I will get back to you with new reviews coming up. So stay tuned. See you guys later.